Hey guys, this is Epic Bump. Coming at you with a, I don't know, just, just something that um, I've been hearing, I heard about today, in fact. Um, I'm a college student, so that's kind of the reason I haven't really been on YouTube a lot, and I haven't been posting a lot, is because I've been going through you no know, classes, finals, that kind of stuff. But I have been you know, keeping on top of things and listening in on what's been happening. I've been aware, just very silent. Unless you follow me on Twitter, then you know I'm not being silent at all. But, what I would like to talk about is, um, something I noticed in the past couple days, and if, for any of y'all who don't know, uh, apparently something's wrong with YouTube right now. A lot of, um, content creators are losing a lot of subscribers when, every time they upload a video. And, you know, the subscribers have no clue what's going on, and YouTube is just openly denying what's going on. And, you know, at first when I heard this, I kind of brushed it off, because the first time I heard it was from PewDiePie. And, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe, you know, maybe popularity is being changed, maybe people don't like his content anymore, and people are just leaving. Well, apparently, it's been happening to a lot more people, and happening in, like, rapid succession. And it doesn't seem like it's going to stop anytime soon. Now, something I saw from the Amazing Atheist's channel, um, probably a link in the description below, is this has been a recurring theme. Now, most people know I haven't been on YouTube for very long, in fact, only about two years, and I've been dormant for most of those two years. But I do concede that that probably is a true statement from him. I wouldn't be surprised if people started censorship, like mass censorship of many different viewpoints and very successful people because they want, you know, YouTube to be, you know, kid friendly or family friendly, which it kind of already is. We have family friendly content on YouTube and people are free to choose it. But when you go out of your way to try to silence people like this by getting them less subscriber or doing something where you're like, oh, we don't know what's going on, it's very dishonest and it's very underhanded and sneaky. And I'm not surprised by that, especially in this day and age and how much censorship has been going down and how much YouTube has pandered to both censorship and to corporations and advertisers. I'm not really surprised, to say the least. Now, I'm not partnered with YouTube and I'm not sponsored at all. I do all of this as a hobby, as you know, when I'm not studying or when I'm not doing this or when I'm not in a Smash tournament or I'm not running D&D &D games. This is what I do. This is a platform I like to speak on. So I don't have a lot of subscribers. And, you know, I don't think I'm ever gonna get that big. You know, after being just informed what happened and, you know, I knew the whole subscriber thing was going on for a while, but I wanted to believe it was because of the popular YouTubers going down in popularity, but apparently that is not the case and it's, it's very disturbing because this site was founded on you, YouTube, you. You can put whatever you want up here as long as it, you know, follows some pretty okay guidelines, very understandable guidelines. But it used to be all about you, YouTube. Now we should just call it, you know, Corporation Tube or Offended Tube or SJW Tube because those are the people that have the power. It's no longer about you, it's about corporations. It's no longer about you, it's about people who are offended about what you say and how you present something. It's no longer about you, it's about how can we silence you. It's no longer about you, it's about this family over here that wants some family-friendly entertainment and they can't get it because apparently you own a channel. How is that silencing any family-friendly channels or videos. It's not. It's idiotic. It's stupid. It's sneaky. It's underhanded. And quite frankly, it kind of makes me want to move to daily motion. Not like I'm going to do that, but it, it just... disgusting, at the very least. Oh, and a side note, a YouTuber I've watched a lot of, Bearing, he apparently, overnight, it, it appears, because I think I was watching his videos yesterday and nothing was a, a matter or a problem. Overnight, it seems that the Total Drama Corporation or whoever owns them filed copyright because his fair is from the show. And, you know, I'm not going to get that more into where's the fair use again because I've already made a video about that. But it seems that YouTube is constantly, constantly pandering 
to all of its corporate sponsors, to people who claim copyright, to people who are offended, to people who just need to grow up, honestly. Now, I can understand where the corporation's coming from. They made the character, yes. And trust me, I know both sides, if it isn't apparent, because I've changed my avatar so many times, I don't even remember. I think I'm using L right now. I understand that sometimes you don't want to use a picture of yourself, you want to remain anonymous. And that is totally cool. I understand that. I understand that 100%. And it's their choice if they want to be anonymous or not. But when you get to the point where you're doing this because you believe that someone could associate your sh TV show with this person who is very opinionated on the internet that has nothing to do with your TV show. In fact, I was reminded about the TV show and rewatched season one because of it. Because I, I was like reminded, oh yeah, that was a that was a fun TV show that I watched when I was younger. I wonder, I wonder if it's as good as I remember. You know, the characters were as good as I remember, but the show sadly had really poor writing, and apparently they get really butt hurt very very quickly. So, you know, I have a low subscriber count. I can say basically whatever the fuck I want, and you know, no one. No one cares. So, I'm just going to uh, leave it off with this. Like, just from the viewpoint of someone who isn't really big on YouTube, here's just my viewpoint. At what point do you need to stoop down that low? I mean, this guy's just saying his opinion using your bear as an avatar. If anything, people were gonna look at where that bear's actually from be like, oh, you know, it's from this cool TV show. Oh yeah, I remember watching that when I was a kid. You know, let's let's rewatch season one. If anything, that's advertisement. That's free advertisement. He doesn't get paid a dime, basically, to use your avatar to have free advertisement. It's not like he's claiming to be the one that created it. Granted, every single time I make a video and I use a picture like this, or I use some character from an anime or a TV show or whatever, I normally say in the description, this isn't mine. I do not own this. The pieces of art are owned by the respective owners. I do not own anything, and I do not make any profit off this video. I mean, he could have done that, but at the same time, it's fair use. He's just using a picture of someone's likeness. It's no better than the Lacey Green incident where she claimed copyright because someone used her likeness. There's nowhere in there in YouTube's policy or guidelines does that have anything to do with it. This is Odd McBump, signing off.